Well, hello. How is everyone? Hope you're well. This is my fourth day of riding the Feste 500 with 70k to go. Just on the ridge near Swallow and Irby, which in itself is the northeasternmost part of the Lincolnshire Walls. And I didn't uh, show you those uh, trees just to show you how pretty they are in winter, which they are, of course. It's their strength for the wind. Hopefully, you can see what pain I'm going through this morning. Headwind all the way to Gainsborough where I'm heading this morning to turn around and hopefully have a tailwind on my back. All I want, all I want, all I want is satisfaction. Make a move, baby, you got nothing to lose. Give me that, give me that, give me that. If you live in Lincolnshire or in this part of Lincolnshire, you know these roads quite well peaceful, quiet country lanes, beautiful countryside. I want to run the red lights, I've got to run this show. You always take me so high, you always make that high. And even more beautiful in the crisp winter sunshine here. scenery today is absolutely stunning. I've got a big smile on my face, that sun is out at last. And I'm really pleased to be outside here and enjoyed it with you. Driving up the rough world killer climb, heading towards Case of Top now. Well, could be the highest point on this ride. I know on the way back I'm going up the way is a big climb, which is really steep. But this northern section of the walls is much higher than the rest of the walls. Well, thankfully for me today, there's no headwind taking me to the top, which suggests the wind is still what's circling around at the moment. So today is a Thursday. Nothing that remarkable about it, except except it feels like riding in lockdown at the moment. It's really, really quiet. So I'm just going for the main road between Curtin and Gainsborough, and uh, one car's past me. <laughs> Go through the little village of Blyton, passed on an ice cream. It's much too cold for ice creams. Okay, it's not that cold, but it's December. Who eats ice cream? Ice creams in December. If you eat ice creams in December, don't bother to put your comments down below. <laughs> Instead, tell me what your favourite ice cream is. So anyway, up oh, front to me, just off to the right there is Lords and Woods. Or Loughton Woods. Yeah, I've come that far west. Essentially, today's ride is riding out into the wind 
hoping for a tail on the way back. As ever, will that be the case on the way home? Just got to get to Gainsborough, a little bit further south to Sturton on the stove, I think it's called, is that right? And then I'm heading due east at that point, eventually go back over the the Lincolnshire Walls via Walesby Hill and dropping down back towards the coast. Gainsborough Station there on along Leo Road. I didn't realise the train station was on the right. They passed through so many times. I've always been looking on the left and never saw it. That's why. So like I just said, Gainsborough. Just stopped at Marshall Yard. There's a Greg's there. Can't go wrong with the Greg's. Couple of slices of pizza. And there's pink beautiful donuts. And a white coffee. Oh, really, really nice. Enjoyed that. So a little bit of headwind to go down to Stone Out before turning back back east which I'm looking forward to of course but the uh, headwind's been a bit of a nightmare at times and so this ride marks my completion of a Rafa Festive 500 for another year I've literally just passed the 500 kilometer mark. Nice and easy year again. Nothing crazy. No crazy miles. Maybe one year, just maybe. I might try and do it in a one but to be honest, I don't like this time of year. So I know it's meant to be a challenge and everything, but still, you've got to kind of like it from the outset. And the uh, Unless I'm overseas somewhere, nice and warm, Florida, something like that, I don't know, Spain, Canaries, something it's where it's plus 20 degrees. I don't think the appeal of doing a Festive 500 is not really for me. And although it might seem like I uh, continue riding through winter, if you were to look at my driver profile, you will see in January, or December and January, and February to a lesser extent, my mileage does drop because who likes cycling in uh, ice and cold and wet and rain? Not me. I'm just like you, you know, I'm, although I do all this crazy stupid stuff, I still don't not like any of that weather. And I don't like taking risks on it. Then you've got to have one fall on the frost and ice, and that's it, you can be ruined for weeks, so I'd rather not chance it. Quality miles, instead of long distance all day rides, a quality ride, whether that's the route, the elevation, or something else that you like doing. Or you could look at it another way, less time on the bike. The quality time on the bike, less of it, better miles, better elevation, better coffee shops, all those things, more group rides, stuff like that. That's why I do in the winter months. Just paused randomly on the approach to Ingham Lane. If you know this part of Lincolnshire, just turned left at Stowe, that little village with a massive church. So I'm heading directly east at the moment and it's kind of first of two ledges that will take me across back to the coast this is the first one second is at Walesby there's probably a few little baby ones as well tossed in there a few spots of rain oh. I know it said it was going to rain, but it said 5 or 6 o'clock. It's like quarter past 
one, half one in the afternoon. <laughs> it's moving on quite a brisk breeze. It's chasing me down. You won't be able to see it on the pitch because it's a good way off, but I'm wondering now whether I'm going to actually catch the rain up over there. It seems to have stored over the uh, edge of the walls near Caister. Lucky for me, I'm not going quite as far north as Caister. Just hoping that doesn't turn any further south because I don't want to get wet. It would be a shame for it to rain on what has been otherwise a rain free day for once. Sometimes you can't make it up. It's a white van man behind me, waiting patiently. I was on single track road, no places to uh, stop. Little farm gates and things, but it's waterlogged anywhere. And then so why should I put my foot down in loads of mud and shit? So after a while, it got past me, no big deal. And then about a minute later, there was another car behind me. I thought, oh, here we go again. Looking at my wahoo. 200 meters to go, I'm like, fine, I'll just keep going. I tried to, this car behind me tried to overtake me on a driveway and sat, then they aborted. So, you know, pedal faster, go front again. I got to that main road, that junction, turned left. Bloody police car overtook me. <laughs> and then on the main road, this uh, female officer got out and tried to get me attention. I'm like, waving like I'm not stopping for somebody who thinks it's okay to close past another human being on a in a car so I just kept going <sighs> should know best those those people even the uh, police force should be reading the new highway code pedestrians at the top cyclists most cyclists cars lorries one and a half beaters you have to give people on bikes to overtake on 30 mile per hour stretch or two meters above that it's not down to me to keep stopping just to let cars pass top of Walesby found a big climb of the day done not much more to go now on the home straight well near enough it's been a great ride it's been a pretty uh, I don't know what, how to describe it clinical just been straight out toward destination, turn about, come back again. Nothing exciting in terms of routing on this one for me. It's all been roads that I've ridden plenty of times. I think at this point, I'm going to say Happy New Year. Yeah, 2022. You got any big plans for this year? Are you hoping, like all of us, to be able to go on holiday overseas? I'm still hoping to get something last minute, end of February, go to Tenerife, but I don't know what the chances are. I don't know. I've got some accommodation booked already. It's just the flights. What is going to happen? It's easy to, uh, for me to cancel the accommodation. But flights, I'm just going to get those last minute based on what's going on in the world. Can we go to Tenerife at the moment? Can we go to Spain or anything like that? This moment in time? No idea. Anyway, all the best in 2022. Let's just hope it's a better, better year for everyone. Right, let's get back to this ride. There's still a little bit to go, 20, maybe 30K. Loving a good tailwind. Beautiful downhill section at Thor's Way as well, and both together combined, it was oh, it was quite something. Twenty-five k to go. Twenty-five k to go. Which way am I going? Am I going back the same way I came, or am I going somewhere else? Let's see where my route takes me. Considering no rain today, very muddy. <laughs> I 
to come out of Forgenby straight ahead now dropping into East Ravendale straight off the walls at Ashby Road roundabout and then home okay folks if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel lots of great content coming out in 2022 the TCR transcontinental race Dirty Riva maybe the race around Netherlands possibly climb up Mount Tidy in Tenerife fingers crossed that all, that's all gonna happen all right from me Merry Christmas enjoy what's left of it Happy New Year I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.